All right, once you're done with the witch, you can do a file save as. If you're coming back to this, then you want to open that witch.ggb file. So I just want the file open, and then I want to choose file. Remember, I can check in the downloads folder, or what folder this gets downloaded to. So the way my browser is set up, it saves everything to the desktop. Yours might be different. So I'm going to find that .ggb file again. If you're not sure, in the Chrome browser down at the bottom where you see which hat.ggb, there's triangle say show in folder and it'll show you what folder it's saved under and that'll allow you to navigate to it so when it open it's going to bring in that which file hopefully and there's our, our polygon and now we're working in the second uh, investigation on reflections um, so basically we're going to see what a reflection is like by building one ourselves so part of the directions is to create some points. Now you can sit here and create points by using the point one. Um, but I'm just going to use a copy and paste. I'm going to directly put a point where I want it to be put. At zero zero point O. That's a O, not a zero. Um, so point O will be at the origin, obviously. Point B, and these points really could be anywhere, and we'll show you that in a minute. Point B is eight zero, and point A is 0, 8 on the y-axis. And once we create it, if you don't see um, all the points you created, you might need to move the graphics view by this move tool, move the graphics view, or you might need to zoom out a little bit um, if you can't see all the points by using the zoom out tool. Um, then the next step we're asked to do then is basically to use the draw a line segment. Uh, or excuse me, segment between two points um, tool, and I'm just going to be basically drawing some segments. I could draw a line segment from any point, but I want to go from O to A, and then or A to O, and then uh, B to O. And you see it's a little bit darker. <clears throat> okay, so I've created a line segment here from A to O and segment O to B. I'm going to reflect this. Uh, polygon over those two lines. So make sure I have the correct tool. I'm going to be using reflect excuse me, reflect object about a line. So what I need to do then is select the object. Notice I'm up here, it's only this one line segment is selected. Now both line segments are selected. But as I move towards the middle, the entire polygon is selected. So make sure you have the entire polygon selected and click it and then click on your line and notice then it gets reflected about that line. Um, if we move this around, you can see that that occurs too as well. And just hit Control Z for undo, which is over here as well. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing then again. I'm gonna use the reflect object about a line tool. I'm gonna click on the, the polygon, ensuring that everything is selected. If you're up here and you just cl click on one thing, it's going to reflect on whatever you clicked on. So I don't want to do that. So again, reflect object about a line. I want to make sure I click on the polygon and then this line. And now I have a mirror image across this line of reflection and this line of reflection. So if I grab this thing and move it around, I can do some funky things with it. Uh, GeoDraw is kind of neat. You could actually put in someone's picture and plot some points and things like that and reflect that too um, and mirror yourself if you wanted to and move it around. It's kind of fun and distort it. Right. So now that you're complete, this part of the investigation, the reflections and investigation, you want to do file, um, save as, and name it reflections. Or reflection and then your name and then download that file. This will be one of your GeoGebra files that you download and save and submit to me through Moodle. Thank you.